Good morning, good morning, amateur radio operators. My name is Luis, Hotel Bravo 9, Hotel Violet Uniform from Clothing in Switzerland. And this is the Amateur Radio Doors Global Daily Newswire, where we are providing updates to amateur radio operators and enthusiasts on current events related to amateur radio, cybersecurity, space weather, general space news, and global geopolitics. And now, right there, directly onto today's news. In amateur radio news, Ofcom updates amateur radio licensing framework. Ofcom has released a document detailing its decision to update the amateur radio licensing framework. This move aims to meet the needs of today's and the future radio amateurs while streamlining the licensing process. A high-level overview of fundamental policy changes has been published alongside the statement. Great South Bay Amateur Radio Club unveils advanced mobile communications trailer. The Great South Bay Amateur Radio Club has introduced a mobile communications trailer, including three high-frequency HF stations and six additional radios for VHF, UHF, and DMR, as well as a 300 amp hour battery powering it. The trailer also features a 200 watt solar panel array used for various public service and social events. Now moving on to cybersecurity news. MongoDB suffers security breach, exposing customer data. MongoDB disclosed a security incident leading to unauthorized access to a specific corporate systems, exposing customer account metadata and contact information. The breach was first detected on December 13, 2023, and MongoDB is investigating the full extent of the incident. CISA urges elimination of default passwords. The U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, released guidance for manufacturers to eliminate default passwords and strengthen cybersecurity principles. This action is in response to IRGC-affiliated hackers exploiting default passwords to access critical systems. Phishing tactics and prevention measures. Transparency in communication is crucial in the fight against phishing. Educating users on phishing awareness and sharing information about phishing campaigns are effective strategies. Organizations are encouraged to use tools and resources for phishing prevention and promptly respond to phishing attacks. And now moving on to space weather. Today, December 18, 2023, the solar wind is breezing at 436.2 kilometers per second with significant density. A C4 class flare peaked earlier today. The sunspot count is 129, indicating stable conditions with minimal flare threats. The planetary K index is at a stormy Kp equals 6, suggesting possible geomagnetic disturbances. High frequency bands might experience varied propagation, with higher bands potentially benefiting from current sunspot activity. Obviously, for continuous updates, Stay tuned to spaceweather.com. Moving on to a general space news. Significant solar flare disrupts radio signals. A powerful solar flare from the sun disrupted radio signals on Earth, particularly, particularly affecting Central and South America. This happened during the weekend, and this event highlights the importance of space weather prediction in protecting technology and communications. Upcoming spacecraft launches. SpaceX is scheduled to launch the Falcon 9 Block 5 carrying the Starlink Group 6-2034 on December 19, 2023 at 4 hours UTC from Cape Canaveral, SFS, Florida. Another launch, the Falcon 9 Block 5 with S SARA 2 and 3 is set for December 21, 2023 at 12.56 UTC from Vandenberg, California. Global geopolitics, Russia to cut oil exports. Russia is planning additional oil export cuts in December, potentially by 50,000 barrels per day or more, earlier than promised, as part of efforts to support the global oil price. This decision follows a meeting of OPEC+, Plus, which includes the organization of the petroleum exporting countries, Russia and other allies. Rise of middle powers in global geopolitics. The 21st century is witnessing the emergence of new middle powers playing a significant role in global geopolitics. 
These powers have been instrumental in mediation efforts in regions such as the Middle East and Europe, often stepping in where the United Nations have been unable to resolve conflicts. The U.S. and the U.N.'s role in the Gaza conflict. The United States and the United Nations have faced criticism for their handling of the situation in the Gaza Strip. The U.N. General Assembly recently adopted a resolution demanding an immediate humanitarian ceasefire and the unconditional release of all hostages. That concludes today's Newswire. And remember that the, this Newswire is transmitted via JZ Cole's primary 40 meter frequency at 21 hours UTC and is available on request at ARO WingLinkNet at winglink.org. I repeat, ARO Alpha Radio Oscar. WNLK, Whiskey, November, Lima, Kilo, Net, November, Echo Tango at winlink.org for Winlink mailboxes. If you find our news very helpful, please forward it to other operators and subscribe for regular updates. I am Luis Santiago and I'm signing off from Clotten, Zurich, Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day.